Hi, it's Blair Allison, the love guru, and today's tip I wanted to share with you is about the importance of focusing and the importance of dating just one person when you're looking for your one, when you're looking for the one. So I know this might be uh, contradictory to what the popular saying out there is, is, you know, dating is a numbers a ga game and go on a lot of dates with a lot of people. And I know if you're actively dating online or actively looking for love, I know you probably let a lot of people know that you're single. You want a lot of people to match you up. Um, if you're looking online, you're kind of emailing a bunch of different guys or talking to a bunch of guys on the phone. And it's very easy to get caught up into those, like, that little dating game, you know? You get in that whirlwind of trying out different guys and talking to different guys and texting different guys and emailing different guys and seeing who is the right one for you. So, and I know that the thought is probably, hey, if I date a lot, um, if I talk to a lot of different guys on the phone and I go on different dates with them and email and have all these different, um, what's, what's the saying? Like maybe logs in the fire, you know, if I have all these different things going on, you know, that makes my chances better of finding the one in a faster way. But I am going to suggest to you that, hey, that does not work. And um, the reason why it doesn't work is, first off, I'm an intuitive heart healer, and I work with energy, and I teach about energy, and I teach about attracting love to you. So when you're, when you're understanding the spiritual principles of the universe, and you apply that to dating, oh, there's a plane, when you do that, um, you really want to focus your energy on just one person at a time. Because the way that the energy looks is when you're talking to a bunch of different guys, your energy's going here, it's going there, it's going there, it's totally scattered, and you're not powerful enough to be manifesting anything, nonetheless, your life partner. So when you want to manifest your life partner, which is a big manifestation, you know, like you got to gather a lot of energy with that. So it is ideal that you're just focusing on one person at a time. Now, you don't need to focus on him for a long period of time. Say you're, you met somebody and you're emailing or you're talking on the phone or you're texting. Get into a relationship with them. See where it goes. And as soon as you decide, okay, hey, this is not going somewhere or I don't really like him or yeah, it is going somewhere, continue just dating him and take that relationship to where it's going to go. Um, the way that I used to look at it when I was dating, looking for my life partner, was every single guy that came into my life, this is kind of like a little second tip here, but every single guy that came into my life, I looked at as a potential one. I treated him like the one, and I moved forward in the relationship like the one, until he was proved otherwise. And then what you do is you just kind of cut it off, if it's not working, and then you open yourself up to date just one other person. Again, so you're constantly in a relationship um, when you are dating and when you are finding someone of interest, you're just in a relationship with one person. The energy is really clear, you're focused, you're intimate with just one person, you're committed to one person, and again, it either goes somewhere or it doesn't, and then you move on. So that's today's tip. And if you'd like more information, more tips, more articles, products to find love, or if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, either through the phone or in person, contact me through my website, loveguru.net. I wish you the best in love. Bye-bye.